I don't want to scream. Oh, yeah. All right. Short little video. A couple of things I've been working on here. Scooch in and show you some of this stuff. I play some ICRPG, so I was interested in making tokens. So I made individual tokens for all of the conditions for Dungeons & Dragons based on the... Roll 20, I believe, is where it is I found it under like the D&D 5e conditions. I don't remember. But there is uh, 15, 16 different conditions. And I also added in different levels of exhaustion. Not to mention that from there, you can just use this single token. Same on either side. So it doesn't matter which way that it gets thrown down. And if you just right click and go through the states there's blinded deafened charmed exhaustion one and this is why i put the different levels because when you get up to exhaustion five you can see that it is printed on there kind of a thing and you just throw it down point it at your player the cool part is uh, with this thing you can just hit Control c make a couple of these and then just change the state to whatever you want so you don't have to have 20 different things kicking around in a pile or in a bag, you just have one token. Change it to whatever it is that you want it to be. These are also in alphabetical order. They should be. Uh, right? So this should help you uh, figure out who's what and where's where. Those are the D&D &D ones. And these are the Savage Worlds status tokens. So you have Aim, Bound, Defend, Distracted, Fatigued, Entangled, Hold, Shaken, Stunned, Vulnerable, and Wounded. So if you want to get to the uh, Shaken one, it is right here. And from this one, same thing, man. You just make a couple of them, throw them out wherever you want to go. I should have making a Wound 1, 2, and 3. Maybe I'll fix that. Or I'll do it in a future update. Because this one of these should have a uh, Wound or Wounded. Yeah, that's what I should have done. I should have put one wounds, two wounds, three wounds, and then just put it on. Okay, cool. Well, something else I'm going to fix then, or change. But anyways, those are status tokens. Here's the individual ones. If you don't want to go that route, you just want to keep these things out. All available on uh, games, and you go to the workshop, and then this is it here. Status world token cards. We'll just load this right out of the... This is what it will be. Games, workshops, Savage Worlds, status tokens, and D&D condition tokens. Uh, I'll put a link in the in the video. So that's just one of the one of the deals I was working on. So between that, the other thing that I wanted to do was um, cards. Um, Hellbent asked me to do like a cards demonstration. So I thought to myself, uh, let's bust out the right monitor and check out all the junk that I'm looking at, that I'm going to put these status cards for Savage Worlds in game. Uh, there's the different ones, distracted. It basically just shows you this, this you know, what it is. Fatigue, subtract ones from, from all traits. Shaken tells you what you can do when you're shaken, blah, 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 blah. But these are um, cards. There's the back status cards. And I'm, what I'm going to do is take these and actually put them in game. So if you start with the top one or any one of these, inside of um, GIMP, you can take this square, zoom in to one of, any one of these cards and just make a square. Pretty straightforward. And then as you zoom in, just drag it so that it's like level and level on the outside. And then when you shoot over to the top corner, just do the same thing. You only have to do two corners. Like so. And then that should basically take the entire length of the card. You go to image and you go to uh, crop to selection. And then just export this as a card. Uh, Control Z will take me back. Do that for all the different cards. E export each one of them. Uh, until you end up with... Um, status world... Status cards? No. This is the PDF that it came in. You want, oh, I didn't do the cards. 
I just put them in um, my root folder, my downloads folder. Okay, so once that's done, you've exported the cards to wherever you want them to go. In order to get them into Tabletop Simulator, you gotta go to your um, your Tabletop Simulator folder. So once you find your Tabletop Simulator folder, you are going to go to this folder here called Modding. Oops, where is it? Right there. Double click on modding and you have things called deck builder, deck templates, and dice templates. Uh, if you want to make your own custom dice, you just take this artwork. This is sort of the gist of how it, it pumps it into the game. Apply your own art and uh, you can import dice. But what I want to do is, um, here's the templates for, the, for certain cards. So you can import cards this way, like for example, uh, this deck hidden cards to other players you put down here drop your cards in here size them all up it, it tells you in the descriptions uh, how big to make them uh, this one here says custom decks can be any aspect ratio the game just cuts whatever image you apply into the 10 by 7 grid different card backs for each cards blah 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 and then here's the guide so you can find that in there too but the easier one to do is the deck builder so you can go to the TTS deck editor. And then we're going to hit start a new deck, 10 by 7. Works for me. And then from that new deck, we are going to take our cards from our downloads directory, which are anyone that says card, status, fatigued, hold, shaken, stunned, and vulnerable and wounded. We're going to drag these over to here. Uh, there you go. You can see them all put in. It doesn't matter if these ones are here or not. And then last, the last one, ooh, I might have screwed the pooch on this one. The last one you want to do is status card back. And I'm pretty sure that status card back, when you drag it in here, you want it to be in slot 70 which is this bottom one, because I'll show you a demonstration of one that I have. These are Hankerance Index cards. So all of these cards are the, not the, the, yeah, the face side, and then this slot is the back side. And then you just import this. So if you, if you close this down and you go to this, you can see I'm, I'm not going to import most of these cards. I'm actually only gonna be doing these ones, but this bottom card here needs to be the backing. And then you just go file and export, and then just use whatever the, um, whatever the uh, file is. So max deck size, okay, right? So we're gonna export this, and I wanna export it to my downloads folder. We're gonna call this, sorry about the squeaky chair, uh, status cards. Should actually be Savage Worlds status cards. It's going to save that file as a PNG. I am going to take that file, which is right there, and I am going to open up my. Do I have it open already? No. I'm going to open up my Imgur account. In my Imgur account, I have right here cards, decks, characters etc etc where I keep all my stuff so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my status Savage World status card deck into my Imgur account it's uploading the image and then there it is just like that so to get it into tabletop simulator we're gonna right click and we're gonna hit copy image address then we're going to shoot over to Tabletop Simulator. From Tabletop Simulator, you want to go to Objects, Saved Objects. Nope, sorry, my bad. Objects, Components. And then you'll see here you have cards. So you want to do Custom Card or Custom Deck. Not Custom Card, Custom Deck. You click on this, and it says it wants the, the back. Wait a second. 
should have done the I should have done a tester first before I do. So we're gonna do number of cards 70. We're gonna go face card, it's gonna be control V. This will be the face card. And the other thing that you gotta do is go back to the right monitor. Is you need to take the status card, the backing, and upload it as well. So this will be the back as soon as it processes. So you need to have two. This is the hidden card. That's what this position is. It isn't actually the back. So here's the card deck. This card is when it's hidden to other players. So we take this image. We're going to go copy image address. We are going to go back to GIMP. Uh, the back of the card is going to be this image here. And you can see that height and width are set to um, 7. Max this thing out all the way. And then just hit import. And then what you'll see that you will get is a very tiny deck. And I don't know if you like tiny decks. But uh, yeah, there's some jokes to be made there about... How big is your deck? Status cards. Oh, what did you do? Shaken. Stunned. Vulnerable. Wounded. Should only be 12 of these. Aim. Bound. Defend. Distracted. That puts me at 8. Entangled. Fatigue old and then black so once you get to black you know you have all the cards so if i right click and i hit search this entire deck should just be black see nothing's popping up for artwork and this is because there was so many blank cards and then this status card down here is the last one close this down which is this card here right oops nope flip this one just says status card on either side, so who cares? Don't need it. Meaning that all of these cards are junk. Delete. So that leaves you with these cards. Shake them all together. Oh, look at him do the jimmy. Come on, sucker. Wow. Now they just want to be difficult. All right, they should they should stack. <laughs> uh, so dumb. There there they go. Because they are cards, they will stack. Flip this one over. I don't know why they won't come off one. Oh, it's because it's the bottom card. That's what I was that's why it's doing that. And uh, yeah, that's how you get cards in the game. Basically any card that you want. It's actually really easy. This took me the whole of about maybe 20 minutes just to cut the art out. And now I got me the 11 card status card deck. And you can increase the size of it, you know, making your deck bigger. Because who doesn't like a bigger, uh, bigger deck? Right. That's it. Um, status cards I cannot make available because they are um, internet, or sorry, intellectual property. These are IP cards, so I can't make them available. But uh, these are just VTT tokens. Essentially, they were that's what they were designed for. So, yeah, cool. There you go. All yours. I'll put these in the... Uh, they're there somewhere. In a, in a thing, in a place. Cool.